All right, guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. And we're carving eyeballs. I believe this is where we left off yesterday on part one. This is part two, the finale, the end. Yep, so this will be the end, part two. Look at our nose on that guy. We were just using a needle tip diamond, one of those that you get 10 in a pack from Amazon. And uh, now we switched over to a diamond flame burr. Flame burr. And our micro carver. Now we're switching over to our OCC carving knife. One inch blade. Uh, cleaning up. I like using the uh, OCC knife here to do a little cleanup. Makes the cuts a little flatter. I don't have the uh, spin of the tool pulling it one way or the other. So we're just going to do a little cleanup with the OCC one inch knife. You see that Jordy Johnson making birdhouses. Making a crazy gnome type birdhouse. A mystical house for birds. And we're just cleaning up over that eyebrow. This eyebrow is a little bit bigger than the other eyebrow. So we're just going to bring it down a little bit with a knife. And then we're going to end up coming in with the micro carver and the flame diamond once more. And we'll put all of his uh, age lines and stuff in there. Under the eyes and put bags under his eyes and wrinkles over his forehead. And uh, so that's what we're going to do there. Hey, March is coming up, guys. Glenn McKelvey. McKelvey. Glenn McKelvey, Dremel Maker Studio, March 15th. Put it on your calendar. Mark it on your phone. Give yourself a reminder to go over to Dremel Carver Studio and vote for Glenn McKelvey. Glenn's a heck of an artist, a heck of a wood carver, and a heck of a guy. So make sure you go over there and vote for my buddy Glenn. Glenn McKelvey. All right, and here we are with the micro motor once more. Carving those eyebrows in. Getting them shaped down to the same size. Yep. Hey, if you guys like watching people, especially hillbillies, my buddy Rock, you brother Rock, USA, uh, is rebuilding the old... Home light and lumbar chainsaws. He says they got like uh, 3,000 horsepower or something like that. Uh, I think he's uh, he was talking about putting a blower on one or something. I don't know. But uh, the guy cracks me up. So <laughs> if you need a laugh and uh, you want to want to see a real guy, go check out Rock USA. R Brother Rock USA. Um. Yeah, he cracks me up, that guy. And so, here we are drawing the bags under the eyes. We got uh, we did a little cleanup with them diamond burrs. You can see his mouth there. I carved his mouth in, and he's got a little tiny mouth, because that would can't make that much sound. Can't, can't be bugging me that often. Uh, so, we're using what's called a script bit. It's very tiny flame burr bit. I mean tiny. I get these from uh, Mountain Wood Carvers. They're about two bucks a piece, plus shipping, you know. And uh, they work real good for doing outlining and de uh, small detail stuff. Uh, you can't run them real fast because they're just high-speed steel. So once you heat them up, they're done. So you got to run them a little bit on the slow side. But hey, if you're going to do any writing on wood or whatever, they're the thing to go to. All right, that uh, going back, I think we're going back to our diamond. Yeah, this is a bigger diamond cone burr here. It's about 80 grit. Uh, once more, I buy these from Amazon, 10 in a pack. They're like 15 bucks. Uh, these are the bigger ones. You see me use the small diamonds a lot. Uh, this is a bigger set. It's still an eighth inch shaft like the smaller diamonds. They just have bigger heads on them and they're a little more coarse. They're a coarser burr. 
to uh, get rid of some of that wood. And we're just using that for going underneath the bags of the eyes. And uh, because it is 80 grit, it removes wood a lot quicker than the uh, small 150 grit diamonds. Um, so that's why I've changed over to this one. Just because it has a little faster wood removal, but it doesn't have the, uh, it doesn't leave the marks behind, the cut lines behind, like uh, even the fine, the fine original cut saw burrs will leave uh, heavy scratches in your wood. So they're great for getting stuff down. And then I usually use these diamonds to do most of my sand, sanding because like uh, the, the mandrel sander that Jordy loves to use, uh, and Pete makes a little man makes those mandrels. Uh, it works okay for me on larger areas, but like you can't get into these little areas with that. Plus, um, I think it would just take away all the detail that we're working so hard to put in. There's his eyeballs. See my beautiful eyes. All right, so uh, do a little wood burning here. Um, I don't think we're gonna paint this as it is a spoon, so we kind of want to keep it all natural. Um, bup, 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 there it is. I knew I put my name on here someplace. It's kind of camouflaged in with the hairs. And I think the only finish I want to put on this is the... I'm going to soak it in vegetable oil. So I think that's the only finish I'm going to put on it. Is uh, whatever finish the vegetable oil gives us. Uh, I should darken this up a little bit. I could probably get into painting it, you know, down to here, to the bottom of the beard, and then just rest this in vegetable oil. Um, but I think what I'm just going to do is go ahead and... I'll get me some uh, corn oil, or peanut oil, one of them two. Probably corn oil. I think I got it in the house. And after we get done wood burning this, I'll go ahead and just put some in a bowl or a pan or something. And go back and just let it rest in there. Just let it suck all of that oil right up in here. I know you could probably use beeswax or some, uh, butcher, block, butcher block wax. Or probably even just uh, paraffin, melted paraffin. In on it. But I don't have any of those on hand right now. But I do have vegetable oil. And I, I've never used vegetable oil before. So I'll give it a try, soaking it in vegetable oil, and see how that comes out for a finish. I think I do have some mineral oil I could probably use. Pretty sure I've got some mineral oil from my motor smoking invention. Um, I built a smoker. You fill it with, vegetable, uh, with mineral oil, and you use stainless steel wire or nickel chromium wire as a heating element, and you hook it right up to a uh, hook it right up to your car battery while you're doing it, and a little bitty air compressor, and it allows you to put compressed smoke into your motor to see if you have a bad gasket. So, you can look them up. There's a lot of guys that have uh, videos on how they made these smoker deals to smoke your engine um, to see if like, you got a bad intake manifold gasket. Or you can smoke your gas tank to uh, see if you have a bad a leak in your EVAP system someplace. I know you guys are here for the carbon, not for the carbon. So, but I had to buy mineral oil for that. So, I'm sure I've got some out there in the auto shop. All right. So, we're just going to keep going through here and burning in these beard hairs that ought to take about oh, 20 or 30 million years. And I'm sure you guys don't want to be uh, bored to tears watching me do that. So um, let me go ahead and I'll do this off camera. Get this finished up. All right. There he is. All wood burnt 30 million years later. Wow. That's a lot of burning, guys. Zoom in. Zoom. Zoom. That's a lot of wood burning right there. All right, so uh, got our brush. Let's get some of this wood burning out of here. Like Jordy says, bring up the highlights. Gonna give them some highlights. Oh yeah. Get some of that darkness off of them. This is one of them studio on the lake tricks here. Stiff brush. Oh, yeah. We burnt inside of his mouth there. Burn his nose holes. <laughs> What's your problem? You burnt the, you singed the hairs right out of my nose, just car, Rob. 
I bet you he's going to have many stirring moments in his life. <laughs> oh, you're not funny, Discord, bro. You know, that's why I don't give you wood spirits and stuff mouths that often, because you're too lippy. Look what you did to my nose! It's so big! Well, uh... Way back when I first started carving this guy, there was a like a branch coming off here, right? So we cut it back, and that is what turned into his nose. His nose. It's so big. It's so big. Don't pick up my nose. And it is signed right here. Believe it or not, right there, it's signed. It's just that uh, with all this wood burning, it really blends in good. I like that. So. Somebody ever gets this one day after I'm dead and I'm famous, <laughs> like uh, like uh, Da Vinci, right? This stick, <laughs> this thirst, this whiskey stern spoon here <laughs> might be worth a dollar, and they'll be like, "But nobody signed it." Oh yes, I did. It's right there. It's just hidden in the wood burning. So. You're going to have to really search for it. Then they got to look too hard. It'll probably only be worth 50 cents, right? So, that's what he looked like. That's what he looks like, guys. He's all done. Um, just got to put the oil on him. And like I said, I'm going to take this and I'll submerge this into the spoon in the oil. Let it... Uh, get sucked right into there and then we'll pull it out and wipe it off and all that good stuff and uh we'll just have to go back and re-oil it once in a while maybe by then i'll get some beeswax or something and we'll beeswax it i don't know as cheap as i am i'll probably just keep <laughs> keep going with the old cooking oil the old cooking oil Just carve Rob, your cholesterol's too high. It's all to blame on my wood spirit spoon, doctor. He's high cholesterol. <laughs> it's a high cholesterol spoon. Actually, we're putting it in a uh, vegetable oil, so uh, it's not like we're putting it in uh, lard or pig meat. I guess, hey, I guess you could use lard. I remember my grandma, man, back when I was a kid, she used to have these big old cans of Crisco lard. Back before they found out that it caused heart attacks. <laughs> Big old Crisco lard. Yeah, you used to use that, that stuff for everything from frying chicken to greasing your axles on your car. <sighs> Alright, so that's it guys. Uh, share, subscribe, like. Be awesome. Car something awesome. Uh, remember to, if you buy your cuts all burrs, to use the code CARROB, all caps. Save yourself 5%. Uh, high speed air tool, SCM high speed air tool. And you can reach them at www.scmart.com. If you're interested in one of those air-powered high-speed air tools. Alright, alright. Everybody take care. And uh, have a safe day, a safe week, and a safe life. And remember, just car. Bye.